Meme coins here, meme coins there, everybody's launching their own meme coin and you are just sitting there thinking, how could you launch your own? How could I launch my meme coin? Well, think no more, because in this show, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can launch your meme coin on Solana with little effort, little money, and most importantly, little time. Let's get into it. There's a billion ways to make money in crypto, and I am on a mission to find them all. My name is Fefe Demani, and the best part is, if I find anything, I share it with you, so if I make money, you can make money too. If that sounds good, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, and now, Let's get the agenda. Very, very important, guys. Before we start anything on this show, is that this is not financial advice. It's only entertainment purposes only. I'm gonna show you how you can launch a meme coin literally in five seconds, and that comes with a lot of responsibilities. A lot of these coins get rugged. A lot of there are a lot of malicious players in the industry. So please always play with money that you truly can afford to lose and make sure that you do your due diligence. This is a complete gamble, but that said, I think it's fun, so let's jump into it. The platform we're gonna use is is pump.fun. Now you might have heard about this platform before. They're not sponsors, but you might have heard about them. This is the platform where you can really launch meme coin within two seconds. Now the first thing that could come in your mind is like, what is this crazy animation and whatnot? Hold on a second, you can just come in here and turn this off. Take a deep breath, enjoy the piece and continue creating your own meme coin. So the first thing you're gonna need is a phantom wallet. If you don't know what a phantom wallet is or how to get one, I created a become a DeFi expert video here that includes creating or opening a self custody Solana wallet, which I used phantom. Uh, and you can check it out there. But if you already have a Phantom wallet on uh, the, the Chrome extension, you will see it up here. What you're gonna use your wallet for is you're gonna connect it to the pump.fun website. You're gonna click on Phantom, you will have to connect, you will have to confirm, and you will come in here. It will bring you to create a profile now for security reasons, and I don't want you to buy the coins that we're creating on this tutorial. I blurred everything out, but you will add your username and you will add your bio. You will always be able to add a picture as well. Then you can save your profile and this will be your profile. You can click on close you will come back to that main page. Now, once that's done, what you will see is you are able to launch a coin by clicking on start a new coin. When you click here, it's a very simple and easy process. And this is why I said it will take literally five minutes. You can just write the name of the token. I'll just write the name. The ticker is gonna be, what's the ticker? We know the ticker is ticker, but for here, you can write something else. I'll just write something random. In the description, you can write what the meme is about, what's the origin, why it's funny, what the whole slogan about it. So you can write everything. It's very important that you can't change this later. So make sure that when you're launching your meme coin, you make this properly because you cannot change it later. And then obviously you can upload a profile picture for your meme. Then you have show more options here, which says Twitter link, Telegram link, and website link. Now, if you take this seriously and not just launching a meme for whatnot, but you actually wanna launch a meme, you can create a Telegram profile or Telegram group, a Twitter profile and a website, and you can link all of this in here. And once it gets listed, you will be able to, to, to see it there. Again, these are not changeable, so make sure to include them from the very beginning. And once you have that, it's, not, it's, it's only optional as you see, once you are done, you can click on create a token and it will request how much you want to buy from your token. Now, the reason why it's very important is because, and the reason why pump.fun is a very fair way of launching because it has something called a bonding curve. So the way it goes, if you launch a normal coin, what you can do is that you can allocate to, to teams, KOL, sponsors, seed investors, whatever, the coins that you minted at the beginning. Now with this one, what you can do is that it puts it into a bonding curve and everybody can buy in from the very beginning. So you as a dev have the option to have the first purchase ever, and this brings you what do you want that amount to be. So what I would recommend here is that if you take this seriously, don't take 40%, 50% of the supply, try to take one or two Solanas at max, because that way you can secure that the people who actually see your meme can make sure that you are not holding 20% of the supply and not afraid of, of the developer or you dumping it on them. So what I would do, I would just say, one Solana here, it will tell me how much token I am going to get from the token and I can click on create coin. Then I have to click confirm and it will say create coin and now it says confirming transaction. Then it says create a new coin within literally 30 seconds, then I can click on view and it will take me to my token page. Now very important, this is an actual token on Solana now. So it took me two minutes to do this and it is a token on Solana. Very important, couple of things. Number one, this is not changeable no more. So you, 
whatever picture you put, whatever name you call it, whatever ticker you edit, whatever description, whatever profile links, this is not changeable. So once it gets to this point, your token is live on Palm.fun and is awaiting listing on Radium. Because the way Palm.fun works is that you have a lot of people coming onto this bonding curve and buying into your idea, buying into your projects. If you go onto the main page, you will see all these tokens being listed here are the tokens, that, the same tokens that we just launched. Someone just launches a token, it comes up here, all right? So you can see all the token launches, but you can just take this link here, the URL, and send it to your friends, to your community, whoever you want to buy into this meme from the very beginning, you can send it to them, they connect their soul wallet, and they can buy the asset here. They can set how many uh, Solanas they want to buy, and they will simply buy these tokens. Now, the good part is that it will show up in your Solana wallet. So as you scroll down here, I see the asset here. As I said, I'm gonna get 34 million tokens. It is here. Obviously, I can't really do much with it because the bonding curve is not finished, but it is showing up in my wallet. Now, the bonding curve works in a way that you have to get to 69,000 market cap here on palm.fun for it to be able to list it on Radium. So it's a, it's a smart contract designed to list your tokens launched on palm.fun after they reach 69,000 market cap. And the way it reaches it is that a lot of people come, a lot of people buy, and it starts gaining momentum, and by gaining momentum, it gets to $69,000 in market cap. If you come lower here, you will be able to see the bonding curve progress, and that means what the bonding curve is filled at. What's the percentage of the total amount of money that you need to be listed on Radium at $69,000. By the way, if you don't know what Radium is, it's a decentralized uh, exchange on Solana. So if you want to launch your meme coins, you launch it usually on Radium. Then lower, it will say how many tokens are still available in this bonding curve. And then it will say something called the king of the hill. Now, this is very important because once you launch your meme coin, you want exposure to your meme coin, right? So if you have a big community and you launch on palm.fun, that's great. But if you want exposure to your meme coin, you need to be seen by a lot of people. And palm.fun has something pretty cool, which is called the king of the hill. And king of the hill, it says here, is the highest project, the highest market cap project on the platform currently. So dethrone the current king at $33,000 market cap. So if you go into the, uh, the main page back here, you see the king of the hill is here. So every time the project that has the highest market cap on the platform at that moment or until it is the highest market cap and gets listed on Radium or gets dethroned by another project, they stay up here. Now, if you click on this project, you will be able to see that it's launched, it is pumping and it is king of the hill because it has 96% of the bonding curve progress. And that means that it only misses 4% for it to be listed on Radium. But let's go back to our token here. And I wanna show you a couple of more things. Number one is the holder's distribution. So it's very important when you buy a token as well, that you look at the, the distribution of the holders, whether it's palm.fun or just on Solana, you have to understand who holds the token. Now, the good part, again, about palm.fun and being at a fair launch is that it shows you what the bonding curve has. So how much tokens can be bought from the bonding curve. And it shows you how much the developer, the one who launched the token owns, in this case, me. So I own 3.47% of the token supply, which is absolutely good. Like even if it's like 5%, 7% should be okay if the dev has great intentions. And then you will see all the other wallets. And this is where it gets interesting because if you see a wallet holding 20% of the supply or 15% of the supply, or you see equal amounts like 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, you can make sure that it's kind of shady and it can be a rug because if, if, if it's distributed, so either if one person holds a lot, like 20%, or five or 10 wallets holds 2% each, that's an obvious butting, an obvious uh, rug preparation, uh, equally distributed, but still hold, held by one person. Uh, so watch out for that. And then here you have something called the thread. This is also a cool place. You can come here and you can post your reply. You can say, I love this. And then you can add a, uh, add a uh, picture if you want. You can go post reply. And a lot of people start discussing here about the project, about the meme, about the dev. You can you can dox yourself if you want here and you can persuade people to buy into your token. Let me show you, I'm gonna, just gonna click on this project randomly. And if I scroll down lower here, you will see that this community is pretty active. So they are discussing here in a thread, discussing changing web, give, uh, give it some time. So they are, they are discussing, the dev is discussing with the people and how the, the project is progresses and you see that it is going strong. You also see that the bonding curve has been uh, achieved 100% and it got listed on Radium. Now that's the next thing we have to talk about. So what if your 
your project gets to 100%, meaning it gets to $69,000 in market cap and gets listed on Radium. Well, two things. Number one, from that moment, once you know the contract address, you will be able to find that token on Jupiter, in Phantom, in your Phantom wallet, on Radium, you will be able to buy that meme coin. You don't have to buy it on pump.fun, you can literally just buy it off the market as you would buy any normal meme coin. The best part is that you don't need to know anything about how it's done and what, what's happening. You don't have to provide the liquidity, you don't have to do anything because everything is done in the background by pump.fun. So going back to our token, the best way to find your token on Radium after it got listed or in Dex tools is to go onto the Phantom Wallet where you bought into a project, you scroll down, you click on the token that you purchased on pump.fun and you can click on a more, you can click on view on Skull Soul Scan. And here you will see SPL token address and this is going to be the address that your token has. So this will be the, the contract address that you can send to anyone if you want them to buy into your token. Another way to do this is, is to go on dextools.com. So when you're in dextools, you can click on live new pairs, you can select Solana and you will be able to see all the pairs that got listed here. So you will be able to just scroll down and see your own token if you don't want to go the Phantom Wallet or if you've been watching a pump.fun token but you couldn't get in, you can do it here. If, you, if I click on one of these just randomly, you will see that the chart is basically just one line. This is how it will look when it just launches. But then you will have all the information here that I said. So you will have the description, you will have the, the social links and everything else that you added on pump.fun. And now you know how to launch a meme coin the very DGEN way very fast, but this is not the professional way. So if you care just a tiny bit about your project and you don't just want to rock people, I would recommend you look at something that is more serious. And the best way to launch your token in a professional manner is to use a professional website. And we recommend PinkSale. So PinkSale is the sponsors of today's video. We met them here in Lisbon on MemeCon. We started chatting and they're doing something absolutely incredible. They are something similar than Pump.fun, but on steroids. So they are a decentralized launch pad as well, but they offer much more tools than just launch your coin in five minutes. For example, in, if you go into Launchpad, you will see that they not only offer the fair launch that Pump.fun offers with the bonding curve, but they also offer pre-sales, subscriptions, you can lock coins, so you can, they offer staking, they offer airdrops, and much, much more. When I say much, much more, everything that is much more technical without you having to write any code. So you can, for example, design what the soft cap is for your project, what the hard cap is for your project, what is the maximum buy, is there any callbacks, and again, much more. Now, Pink Sale is not only designed to launch your meme coins, they are running on all different chains, BNB, Ethereum, ARB, and also has 1.5 billion total liquidity raised. There is 28,800 projects, 3.3 million participants, and 358 million total value logged. So you can see here, for example, it's very interesting. Super Best Friends launched here as well. 383x since launch, 346x since launch, uh, 299x since launch. So you can find some very decent projects. Now, one feature that I specifically like about Pink Sale is the following. When you scroll down here in the launch pad, you will be able to see the coins that you that is upcoming, that is already on sale, or it has ended. But the best part is that they have this tagging feature as you see here. Let's look at this token here. You see up here, they say this is number one on trending. It's Safu, meaning, you know, it's safe. So they have audit. Uh, the, the Pink Cell team does audit in the back end. At a third party, they have KYC. So the team is KYC. They're hosting AMAs and much more. So by using the tagging feature, you can have a better launch for the token and better trust in the project that it's not gonna uh, rug you on the day. I mean, it's no surprise that Pink Cell is actually doing very, very good. If you see on the leaderboard in this week, Generate, they generated $2.57 million. They raised $2.57 million, but they have crazy weeks like, like $9.2 million and $5.1 million. So absolutely insane. Definitely something to look at. They do have a token, which is called Pink Sale, which has actually done quite well. So it's up about 150% this year alone. The utility of the token is that you can pay for fees on the platform. Although you're not forced to use their token, you can pay USDC or any other token. You can pay your 
fees and another token. And they do, which is the biggest value in my opinion, is that every quarter they use 20% of their profits to buy back pink sale tokens and burn them. So it has a buy and burn mechanism, which is very interesting. I would recommend you check out their Twitter as well. Scroll through here. We spent some time with them here in the memecom. I, I talked to the team. I think the team is great. They have massive knowledge. They generate massive volume and they have something pretty cool cooking. There is a link in the description. Check them out and let me know what you think. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, after this video, I hope that you know how to launch your meme coin in five minutes like a DGen and in a very professional manner. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I believe I will see you in the next one.